Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Rivals! And in this episode of our season as Chase Elliott, driver of the number 9 Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet, we're going to go do the Wise Power 400 at Auto Club Speedway. I even got my Chase Elliott shirt on. And my hair is not looking orange enough. It winds up actually looking like Napa hair. But we did the Daytona 500 just yesterday, and we won that. Getting a big old run off of turn four, flying past Harvick with Blaney behind us. And I tried to get Bowman, Byron, and Larson to finish top five. And, well, Larson couldn't do it because we had those Fords up in there. And uh, you got the rest of the results. Harrison Burton, Eric Jones ran good. And then we had a bunch of DNFs. I can scroll the way down. You can look at those two. Obviously, we have some legend drivers in here that aren't supposed to be here. Uh, we have Gragson, Suarez, J.J. Ely, Chris Bell, and Chris Busher did uh, make it to the end of the race. Okay, now before we go to Auto Club, I need to change the settings for this race because it's not a super speedway they're about to run. Okay, what do I need to do? I don't even remember. Let's okay, let make it a, a wide skill range and give it a, a really expanded starting spread because that's Auto Club. They go all over the place and they spread out real quick. And also, this is such a damn easy track, it's so easy to get to the field, so I want to make it take as long as possible. But still, we'll have the frequent mechanical failures, because it's 2022, and everyone's shit's falling apart. And I, I think that's all that I really need to do. So, let's get out of there, and on to Auto Club. Alex Hayden coming to you from Fontana, California, for what should be a very fast-paced event. This two-mile D-shaped low bank oval has given us some exciting finishes over the years and provides some of the fastest racing on the schedule. Today should be no different. Okay, I'm not going to qualify for this because it's an easy-ass race. The same thing with Vegas. That's an easy-ass race. And no, I, I won Daytona, so that's, that's three wins in a row, I suppose. We got, we got Phoenix coming up. I don't think I'm going to win Phoenix, so at least we have that to stop me from having some amazing five wins in a row streak. Well, let's get the pre-race. Looks like we're about ready for drivers to start their engines. Let's go trackside to fire them up. It's all Matt Kenseth starting up front because he's in this game. Ross Chastain had to replace his transmission. William Byron had an engine change after qualifying. Oh, boy. I mean, I was hoping maybe we could have our whole freaking team just be the final four. Why is that the camera angle? When did that happen? No, we don't do that. I didn't make that the camera angle. Actually, I think I did it when I was doing the donuts at Daytona. I made that the camera angle. Well, I've got my mirror on. And we are climbing to the field really quickly. I mean, the guys at the back of the field are really not that fast. To my knowledge, they never did anything to fix the fact that these AI just run really freaking slow here. Look at me. I'm giving Jacques Villeneuve a big old push to the field. And, well, he's not doing anything with it. He's just going to get right behind Harrison Burton and not drive fast. Austin Sendrick is running 30th. Didn't he run, like, 15th in real life? I mean, he won the Daytona 500. He would have not been in the playoffs otherwise. And then you got Daniel Hemrick in the field. And after the first lap, I am up to 30th. Now, this is not the last time we'll be racing Auto Club Speedway in an ass game obviously but this is the the first time we're doing a race at this track since nascar ran the last race there and now they're gonna be tearing the track down unless they make some weird abrupt decision involving money they're gonna keep the track alive i don't know that'd be a miracle i highly doubt that's happening oh my goodness there's tyler reddick in the lenovo car i did a video with that car at this track Got a big old breakaway for the top half of the field, and they're splitting apart. So that's good. That prevents me from just getting easy stage points and, and, and having it the easy way. I, I like this challenge of the, the field breaking apart. The issue is, once we move on to the second stage, I'm going to have good track position, and none of this shit's going to stop me. Got Joey Logano over there running 18th. Denny Hamlin is your leader right now. Look at this. We got one guy... On the outside, we got, we got a few of them in the first pack. And say it's not entirely accurate to how they race this track in real life. When we went into that first corner, we didn't have freaking four or five different lanes of people driving through the corner. No, instead it was just like two or three. 
And what's sad is that whenever the AI run the outside, and you know they don't actually get a good corner out of that. They wind up just dropping back. Is that Kurt Busch in like 16th or 15th running the top? I can't tell just yet. Yeah, we're driving the Napa car in this race because I just really wanted to reserve Daytona 500 for the Hooters car. We'll definitely use the Hooters car a lot more. Okay, so that, that is Kurt Busch that keeps running the top. Um, this is a very balanced looking game as far as the, the colors and the, the graphics. I'd say the resolution is really lacking. I don't know what to do about the low resolution of this Switch game. Even if you get it to the max resolution, you can see that there's just low fidelity because it's a Switch game. I don't know if you can just upscale things if you get on that Nintendo Switch emulator that I've never bothered touching. Hey, look, there's, uh... Christopher Bell driving his Ream car. He's running the top. I think Alex Bowman is all the way over there. He's running the top, too. Now, remember, we don't have Bobby Labonte running this season. Of all the legend drivers like Darrell Waltrip and Matt Kenseth and Bill Elliott, we don't have Bobby Labonte. So we've got Kyle Busch up here driving his Interstate Batteries car, as opposed to that first Auto Club video that I did with Tyler Reddick a while back. Then, yeah, we had Bobby Labonte in here. Then, oh, Kyle Busch. Darrell Waltrip is running 11th. Good to know that's how he generally runs in this top game. Now he's moving into the top 10. I mean, I think Darrell Waltrip, did he get one championship or two? I don't freaking remember, but he just passed her two-time champion, Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch is stuck behind Alex Goldman. You know, like, we are just flying past everyone. We are not challenged by any of these drivers. They're all just in the way. They're not actually drivers I have to put in effort to be faster than. It wasn't like that in Heat 4. I feel like they just put the the previous AI from the other Heat games into this one. And then they give you the, the new horsepower. So th these AI wind up just being as slow as they were in Heat 4. And it's not all that good. And I don't know what the, what the deal with qualifying is. At most of these damn tracks, you can qualify way at the back of the field for no damn reason, even though they're still down on horsepower in the actual race. I don't know if I got my point across very well. I have some shit to cut out and all that. In the end, I'm, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just chilling in eighth. But halfway through the stage, I'm going to wind up winning this stage. Um, caution or not, so far we already have someone out of the race. See somebody on pit road. And we have another car that's falling out of the race, I guess. Like, Kevin Harvick, he was just leading. Did Kevin Harvick just DNF? Holy smokes. Unless some other people are pitting right now. No, I don't. No one else is heading down pit road from what I'm seeing on the map. I just passed Matt Kinseth hey, for sixth place. Here. Well, I'm getting low on fuel, so... Maybe Kevin Harvick just pit early or something. And I'm guessing that the tank goes... About like ten and a half laps at the most. Yeah, we got people taking pit stops now. Well, I mean, some of these guys are pitting. I'm going to go ahead and take my pit stop. I mean, what the heck, why not? Yeah, don't don't speed in. Ow! Ow! No! Um, this freaking fucker behind me. I don't even know who that was. They had a blue hood. I was going the right speed. They're about to push me and make me go faster. That's a load of shit. So, um, I don't think they're going to be taking pit stops at the end of this stage. Um, they're going to be taking like half pit stops. Let's just get a, a full tank. And I don't think I have damage. I mean, I have rear end damage. I'm not going to worry about it. Full tank. Get four tires. To me, it gets the first pit stall. I get the second pit stall. I just came up ahead of Kyle Larson and held him up. Okay, so we're getting back out on the track. Nice green flag racing so far in this first stage. Now yeah, the first stage is going to be the good one. They should throw a caution. I'm going to lap down. Because then I might get like some wave around or I'll have to work to get back on the lead lap I'll race. I don't know. That would be hilarious. Damn, I just freaking drove away from these guys. Aren't we all doing the same thing? Getting on the gas and slightly turning to the left? I'm actually turning all the way to the left right now. So there goes the leader down pit road, which will get me back on to the lead lap. Ta-da! 
So we ain't gonna worry about that anymore. Because I wouldn't be worried about it. I encourage it. Now we're getting back all these spots. Sixth, fifth, fourth. That's third and second, and Denny Hamlin is still leader. Oh my god, Bill Elliott is running third. Well, now you're running fourth, Daddy. And we're the leader, past Denny Hamlin. Oh, and then the stage ended early. So are they going to take those laps from this one and add them on to the next stage or some crap? Because we still had like three laps left in the stage, I think. All the other guys are pitting. I only got eight laps on a fuel. Yeah, just take a full tank, get all the tires again and everything. Make it as long as possible. Send me through the back of the field. Yeah, there we go. I got to restart 13th. I have to pass cars. This video ain't over yet. I was going to do a, a special montage of all my uh, California Speedway slash Auto Club Speedway races. Once I was leading this race and just driving off into the sunset, that'd be nice. But we got to get there first. Okay, we got 10 laps of fuel right now. And 16 lap stage. All right, so we're going to be six laps short. We'll take care of that in a while. Oh, I was going to go around Bubba Wallace. He's blocking me. You freaking dick nuts. Hey, look. Eric Jones is running the top 10. Didn't he start kind of at the back? I remember passing him rather early on. Joey Logano has gotten up here. You know, I don't know if this is just comers and goers or whatever happened with that caution. Some people pit and others didn't, and this is just the position they wind up in. Some people did pit later than me. Landon Castle is fifth. He is running fifth. Landon Castle is fifth. Okay. It's like Daytona didn't end. I don't actually know where Landon Castle finished in the Daytona 500. Thank you, Mr. Truex. Not Martin Truex, Mr. Truex. And I got Logano trying to give me a push from behind, but no, he couldn't do it. They all want to push me. I don't need your pushes. I have got 14 laps to pass these three measly cars. So we're going to try to win Chase Elliott. The auto club race from 2022 that he didn't get to win because his teammate just freaking nailed him in the straightaway. I could have accepted a push from Ryan Blaney, but I'd rather sit in Hamlin's draft. Hamlin is the guy to beat in this race. Or he was. I mean, once I get there, I'm going to be the guy to beat in this race, and I can't beat myself. Well, I mean, I suppose I can. Didn't want to do that on camera though. Oh my god, Ryan Blaney's working with me. He wants to, to take second from Hamlin. And now he, he's moved up to second. See, now that's not something you see on the What If Racing Network. Whenever he plays the game, he gets his ass kicked by Ryan Blaney. Okay, we had a caution during pit stops. So here's where that caution was for during the pit stops. It was Daniel Suarez just blowing a tire. Here comes Chase Briscoe, flipping him like a pancake. Then there's Corey LaJoy and Jacques Villeneuve. Don't give a damn. And one more hit from Garrett Smithley. I'm going to take my pit stop under this caution. I'm going to wait. Because I think some people were already on pit road, which means they can come out ahead of us if I wait long enough. Three, two, one. Okay. Yeah, I got eight cars in front of me. Daniel Hemrick is seventh. Okay, then. That's probably the most obscure name up here. Unless Landon Castle is still here. I mean, Almondinger is nothing out of the ordinary. Harrison Burton was good in the Xfinity series. He's not a champion like Daniel Hemrick, though. I'm more shocked to see Daniel Hemrick up here than Harrison Burton for some reason. He didn't even run the series as much as Harrison Burton did. And then Harvick's back up here. Is Blaney gone? Oh, wait, Blaney's behind me. Okay. And then you got... Denny Hamlin back to the lead. Definitely getting more action out of this race than I did when I did the Tyler Reddick video. Outside, outside. Because every time there was a caution, I always had the lead. That is Landon Castle. Ain't it? Yep, Landon Castle's up here. Okay, 
most obscure driver in the top five, Landon Castle. Can I give Landon Castle a push? I mean, I'm trying to. He doesn't actually want to work with me, so I'm just, I'm shoving him. He doesn't consider me helping. I did, though. I did, though. This guy's sponsor is Voyager. What kind of Voyager? Are you really going on some kind of adventure right now? If you're just chilling in this spot right here? Oh my god, I'm about to wreck him instead of helping him. Don't, don't, ow. Okay, I guess that's what I get for trying to help Spire get their driver a really good finish. Did I get damage from that? I don't know, I didn't really get any damage. What the heck? How not? We got three laps left in the stage. If I want to win this stage, I've got to drive back up there again. These are the fast guys. These are the leaders. I feel like they're only fast because of the leaders at times. Because Almendinger, he wasn't running up here on raw speed. He just wound up here because of pit stop. I don't think we're just going to get sixth in the stage. I think we'll get to Almendinger and maybe Truex. I don't know about the rest of the guys because you know, they're further out. Okay, I'm going to send it hard into the corner, way down on the bottom. It's going to slide a little bit up. Pull in behind Truex. I think I'm about to help Almendinger get a spot if you're just closing on my bumper. I don't think I'm going to win this stage. I might get the second or something. Ugh. Yeah, duck down on the apron a little bit. Come on. I think we're going to get Hamlin. I'm going to try a side draft. The, the side draft didn't work. Blaney almost got a stage win. I'm not even going to put in the first attempt of saying that shit. He almost did it. He didn't do it, though. I thought I was going to get a better... A better run! Off of turn four. I can't talk! Fuck! Just take the stupid pit stop and go start the final stage of the race. I gained a spot. That sucks. Why can't I just be freaking 30th or something? It's been all freaking final stage of the race passing cars. In this long green flag run we're about to have. I don't even know how long the run is. It looks like it's just as long as, like, the first stage? No, this is 16 laps. The last stage was 16 laps. Were they really the same length in real life? Or maybe they were a little bit different? I mean, I just watched this race in 2023, not very long ago. I should remember that, but I don't remember random numbers.
Got another caution. Of course we did. Okay, just take another big old giant pit stop. Yeah! We're 14th. I gotta pass 13 cars but I wanna win this race. And they're all right in front of me! Hey, there's Dad. Hi, Dad. Let's push Dad. I mean, I don't know if we're ever gonna actually have time for a, a big old emotional montage of Fontana Speedway footage. It, this race keeps on playing out like this. I've had long green flag stints, but in the end, they're, they're not at the end of the race like usual. You know, usually, that's just everyone. There's like half the first stage, all the second stage, and then the entire final stage. But no, I'm getting something different this time because of where the cautions are happening, I suppose. I'm trying to help you, Mr. Elliot. El Elliot Sr. Okay. Why doesn't he want to work with me? Why is he getting out of my way? No, don't get out of my way. Stay in my way. Hold me up, Daddy. Okay, I gave him a big old push in that corner. He is in the middle. And we got another caution. Stop it. I made up two spots of that restart. Well, now my dad is on the bottom. I need my dad to be in front of me. That's what I need. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to fuck up the restart on purpose just enough to actually give him a nice push, but we got four to go this time by. <gasps> Maybe I won't win this race. I would like that. Daryl Waltrip is leading. I would very much like that. Let's put Daryl Waltrip in the playoffs. God dang it, all the legend drivers are going to wind up in there with how they run. Now, I can't push Bill Elliott because he's on the bottom. You know, he won't move elsewhere. And yeah, I got to shift into fifth gear, so yeah, I knew he was going to wind up dropping back. Okay, can you can you go around them? Halo. Why are you going to the outside? Man, I fucking hate these damn dumb AI. Tyler Reddick wants to work with me, though. Oh, my God, we're making it work on the outside. Work with me. Why won't he work with me? I'm on his bumper. This works so well at Super Speedway. This doesn't work in this game. You're not going to try passing, Larson? Fine. Dumbass. Why is my dad such a dumbass? Now I'm going to move him right to the field. we got about two and a half laps to go. Truex doesn't want to work with me. Okay, then get the fuck out of my way, ding nuts. And then there's Harvick. He won the second stage. And then Blaney has been a force to be reckoned with all race, as well as Denny Hamlin. Is this championship battle going to come down to Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick, and Ryan Blaney? Because it's looking like it so far. Now we got two to go this time by. And I'm get this big old dang run through the front straightaway, and then I'm about to just drive away with the lead. Chris Busher's up here, though. I don't know when that happened. I don't know how he's been running, but suddenly he's there, running in second. It's a very beautiful game to look at, but it is just not freaking challenging to play. We have four DNFs so far. Those are going to be nice to look at. These guys are going to stale my bumper. Yeah, I was going to do this, like, this really amazing montage of sorts, but I can't... Ow. I can't do that if we're having racing and shit. Okay, now, Chris Busher, you had a chance to, to win the race right there by knocking me out the way. And instead, you you tried to wreck me and you wrecked yourself. He didn't actually wreck anyone. Someone in there allowed diesel ass outside. Denny Hamlin is still sitting in third. I thought maybe he got 
back into second. But no, it's going to be Harvick. Blaney looks like he might he didn't even get a top five. But yeah, I think that me and Harvick should not be very far apart points. How did I get 104 speed rating? I'm on the hardest difficulty, and I won. I drove away from the field multiple times. Now we'll do our donuts. The Wise Power 400. Back to back for Chase Elliott. And we're going to see if we can do it at Las Vegas as well. Which that track is more challenging than this one, but still. It's, it's not hard enough. None of these races are hard enough anymore. I miss that. Where do I do donuts? Right here? Yeah, I do the infield donuts on the Cup Series race logo. Yeah, that's that that is nice. And now we're in victory lane. There's the Wise Power 400 trophy. Now it's in the background. But yeah, we got our Napa car, our Napa outfits. It is right on the outside of pit road, like it should be. Look at the big old scoring pylon. And now, yeah, of course we had the fastest lap. That that was easily assumed. We led 20 of what, 50 laps that this race was? I think this race and dates on a 550 laps. We went from 38th to 1st. It's like twice in a row getting everything. And then Daniel Suarez with the toughest break. Here's an actual look at the results. Yeah, Kevin Harvick, after winning the second stage, winds up finishing second. I mean, I don't think he was the fastest guy up here. I mean, I think it might have been either Denny Hamlin or Ryan Blaney, but I guess he was one of the fastest guys. Daryl Waltrip was setting up to win this race. Lock himself into the playoffs. And then he finishes 11th next to Bill Elliott. Kenseth finishes back there. Ricky Snouse Jr. usually runs extremely well in this game for some reason. Instead, he finishes 19th. And you can look at the rest of this stuff. But our DNFs were Landon Castle. Did I do that? Did I wreck him? I thought I just bumped into him. Damn. And then both the Spire cars. Corey LaJoy DNF. Garrett Smithley. I mean... Yeah, we saw him nail Daniel Suarez, but I guess that took him out too, 10 laps later. So yeah, yeah there's Suarez, and then J.J. Yilly. Um, he did not make it but two laps into the race. Well, back to back, yeah, there's the results. I'll see you guys next week when we do the Pennzoil 400 at Las Vegas. Here are the season standings right now. Of course, it's down to me, Harvick and Blaney, like I was saying. We got William Byron up here. Kyle Larson, Alex Bowman is the lowest of our teammates in seventh. And you got Denny Hamlin, who ran really good in this race. I don't know how he did at Daytona. I mean, maybe we'll see if I look through it enough. Brett Hamlin, he finished 10th in the Daytona 500. Okay, then. And we'll look more at those standings as we get further through the season. I got to go to work. That's that. And episode over.